Hi guys, I've got a little project here, suggested by Andy. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce his surname. He's given me a few suggestions of different projects to do. This one was probably the, well it was the first one, so that's what we've done. It's a, a rubber band powered car, I suppose, but the wheels are not driven. What we do is we pull back the rubber band to tension it. It's got a weight on the end of it. When I release it, that flies forward, but it only flies forward halfway where it hits the bodywork there. And then it's the momentum of that hitting the bodywork that will push the car forwards. So we'll see how it does. I've got one, two, three, four, eight size 64 rubber bands for no particular reason other than those are the rubber bands I've got a box full of. I've got this bit of wood so I can just sort of hold the end of it or st stop it rolling backwards as I pull the rubber band but I won't be pushing the car. The idea is it's just the momentum of that weight hitting the bodywork that pushes it forwards. We'll see if it works. That just about did the length of the kitchen, which is five meters. I'll give it another go. No doubt there's plenty of things we could do to improve this. I just wanted to try the principle. I don't intend to spend time on it trying to make it go hundreds of miles or dozens of meters. One thing that would improve it is to stop this dragging on the floor when it's at that point. Hmm, about the same distance again. I might abandon that bit of wood. I was just trying to demonstrate that I'm not pushing it with my hand, but I don't think that's helping. It's being fairly consistent with the distance it's travelling, so this time I'll try and grab the camera and chase after it. Oh, we actually got a bit further that time. My kitchen up to here is about five meters, give or take a few inches. So it's gone past that into the conservatory. That'll do. We'll do a little review of it now. So what have we got? Uh, the chassis is a plastic spirit level from Poundland that originally would have had some little glass tubes here for checking the level of your work. But I bought it simply because it's a nice rigid plastic assembly that I can use for this sort of purpose. It's more rigid than a bit of cardboard would be and it's relatively lightweight. And I've drilled holes front and back for the axles to go through. 
the wheels are my normal CDs with plastic bottle caps hot glue to the middle to act as the hubs and the axles are barbecue skewers at both ends and then I've got a hole at this end that I've drilled through and that bit of wood there is holding the rubber bands in place it's a single length of rubber bands what did I say? Eight in total joined together but it's just a down there and straight back again one continuous length then I've got a key chain loop there or whatever you want to call it and a three ounce lead fishing weight so we're just pulling it back like that letting it go and it's hitting the bodywork there and that's projecting the car forwards we could tidy it up a bit as I say could do more development on it but I just wanted to try the general principle and it's the momentum of this pulling the car forward or pushing the car forwards depending on which point it does it certainly hits there but in some cases it's actually flying forwards and ending up there and that's one of the problems that that's actually hanging down and dragging on the floor which is reducing the distance it's going we could have done something similar with an arm that flicked up and hit a barrier here which I was thinking of doing first of all but then I thought well this is a much simpler implementation so that's what I did I'll cut and paste Andy's original request into the video description so you can see what he actually asked for and compare it to what he's ended up with or what I've done anyway that's it.